President Joe Biden has rearranged his schedule, canceling a trip abroad to meet with world leaders in order to monitor Hurricane Milton. On Tuesday, he told reporters he needs to be in the country when this potentially disastrous storm hits. President Joe Biden urging those near the storm to listen to local officials and follow safety instructions. I know it's really tough leaving behind your home, your belongings, everything you own. The Biden administration has detailed a long list of steps it's taken already to prepare for Hurricane Milton, including approving Florida's pre-landfall emergency declaration, deploying federal personnel to the state for search and rescue efforts, and ramping up efforts to clear debris from Hurricane Helene. We have made available an unprecedented number of assets to deal with this crisis. We're going to continue to do so until the job is done. The politics of managing storm recovery have become a serious flashpoint. The president and top White House officials have grown extremely concerned about the spread of disinformation, about the federal response to last week's Hurricane Helene, including falsehoods repeated by former President Donald Trump. Vice President Kamala Harris is accusing Trump of putting himself before the needs of others. It is unconscionable, frankly, that anyone who would consider themselves a leader would mislead desperate people to the point that those desperate people would not receive the aid to which they are entitled. Meanwhile, the Republican ticket is accusing the Biden-Harris administration of mismanaging the response to Hurricane Helene. In a Wall Street Journal op-ed, Trump's running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, claimed a bureaucratic bottleneck was delaying the deployment of active duty military personnel. Biden and Harris were part of a briefing Wednesday afternoon that focused on Milton preparations. Following that meeting, Harris described the storm as unlike anything we've seen before. Reporting at the White House for City News, I'm Julia Benbrook.